just as we use cold plunges during this challenge as a tool to regulate our nervous system, we're gonna use cold showers as well. We wanna make this challenge approachable just in case you don't have access to one of our cold plunges, so this is something you can do at home. Same idea applies. We wanna get people in the habit of learning to do something uncomfortable uh, in order to um, find more comfort within that discomfort. So I'd argue that cold showers are even more challenging than cold plunges sometimes because you got that flowing uh, water on you. So what you're gonna wanna do is like, don't ruin your shower by having to do it cold the entire time. Do your normal shower, keep it nice and warm. And then for the last couple minutes, you're gonna have to turn that dial as cold as possible and breathe through it. Uh, your breath will definitely be taken away, even if it's not nearly as cold as the actual cold plunge. It's still gonna take that breath away. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is focus on down regulating your breath, slowing your breath down, and finding a little bit of comfort within that discomfort. Check the box, let's get that cold shower in. This is something you could potentially do daily and really rack up some points.